Hey, thanks for joining me today, guys. We're going to be tying the Merkin Crab today. What we're going to do is start with uh, some thread wrap. I like using a brighter color, something like chartreuse, hot pink. But you can also go with like a, a light color, like a tan or a, a brown. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. And then we're going to come back to just shy of the eye of the hook. Then we want to tie in our dumbbell eye. We do that like always with some X wraps. Always make sure when you're tying dumbbells to Put a dot of super glue on them. All right, and then we are gonna wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. And come back just a, a few wraps, and we're gonna choose some good feathers from our neck hackle. Be particular on which ones you choose. Make sure they're all roughly around the same size. What you want to do is you want to choose four of them, and you want to take them, and so I've got two here. You want to take two of them, kind of put them together, like so. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Then take the other two, put them together so they're both kind of the angles going the same way. Okay, and then we want to reverse that so these are angled opposite of each other okay and what we want to do is we want to take those and we want to measure so we are just past the hook length okay we want to do our measurement there and we can go ahead and cut that off cut the rest off okay and then we are going to, once that's cut off, we're going to go ahead and pull out the fibers off the back end here. I'm trying to do that in camera view. It's a little difficult, but all right. Once you do that, you want to separate the strands and put them straddling the two sides of the hook shank here like so go ahead and tie that in what that's going to do is flare those out you might have to do some micro adjusting here I want you to see what that looks like. You can see that those get flared out. It's going to end up looking like claws. Okay. Next, we want to take some crystal flash. You can use flashaboo. Um, you know, you can use pearl. You can use gold. Whatever colors you want. I like gold. I'm actually going to just take one strand here. And I cut it into fours. So let's cut once. Turn it over on the self, cut it again, and then we can tie that in. And we want it just a little past the length of our hackle. By the way, guys, this is kind of a tricky fly to tie. This is going to be a longer video, I suspect, just because tying some of these materials in takes a while. All right, so once that's in, we want to cut these at different lengths. Okay, so leave one real long, cut another. That one's already pretty short. You know, we don't want these all even lengths. You want them different, different lengths. Kind of look more natural in the water. All right, then we want to. Coat everything with some hard as hull or 
fingernail polish or some type of head cement. Okay, you can use super glue if that's all you got. Just to make sure everything stays put. Then we want to prepare our fiber. Today I'm going to be using fiber. You can use Antron yarn. You are going to use just like a like a fiber material. Um, you want to make sure it's it's something kind of like along the lines of EP fiber. Um, fine strands, a little little kinky, but not necessarily uh, you know wavy or anything. Um, we want to cut that into fours. Okay. So we get these little pieces, and by the way, for the thickness of this, you don't need a lot. Um, if you use an Antron yarn, it's the yarn that's already uh, the right thickness for you. Um, but we want to make sure and you know get something you know about the about the thickness of like a I don't know maybe a pencil, maybe a little less. All right, so we want to go ahead and tie this in right on top of the hook shank. Okay. So when you tie that in, it wants to go up and down the, the hook shank. You want this to be angled sideways. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some X wraps. It's a little tricky on, on this. The first one is a little easier than the rest. You'll see what I mean. So once we tie in the one way, we want to X wrap the other way. So it kind of, it's almost like tying in the spinner if you've ever tied some trout flies, um, spinner wings. We want to do that a couple times. You don't need too many wraps, but definitely want to cinch that in. And what we can do is kind of pull these out a bit, really make sure that they are straight. Okay. And then we want to pull these back, do two wraps real close to the fiber. And we want to take our next piece. And it becomes tricky when you got the other fibers next to it. So keep that in mind. If you have some trouble, uh, it's probably a little easier with the Antron yarn because it stays together a bit better. All right. So once you get that in, you can adjust by pulling, um, and then you can do a couple X wraps. So one X. Two X. Okay. And we're going to keep on doing the same thing all the way up the hook shank here. And now that you've got those all wrapped in, um, we actually ended up doing five, uh, five different strands. Um, and that's actually what you want to do. Make sure it's five. So if you're cutting those that long, long piece into fours, you might have to cut another one. And once you get to the top here, uh, you want to pull all those back. Do four or five wraps to really, you know, cinch those in, and then, then you want to build up a head on this. Nice, smooth, even head. Really helps if you're using this flat waxed thread. Really nice stuff. And then we can whip finish. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut this. Um, so right now it's winged out. What we want to do is make sure that this is, uh, you know, cut into a crab shape. So we want to pull up. And now we want to use some longer scissors than our little, uh, you know, uh, fly tying scissors. Um, go ahead and, you know, grab whatever you have. Um, what works best is going and getting hair clippers, hair shears uh, like this. Um, and get them at like Walmart or something like that. Um, go ahead and cut up at an angle. As you can see, I'm going upward at an angle. Just pull up these hairs. Uh, you don't need all of them, just the front ones. Cut up at an angle. Okay. And you can see what we've got going on there. Now, I want to take these back fibers, pull them up, and cut at an angle downward. Okay. And you can see we kind of have the crab shape going. You got to kind of Trim up some of the excess here. After we're done with that, we want to go ahead and turn our fly upside down. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and tie in our rubber legs. Um, I like white, and then I'm going to um, use a marker to tip the ends with uh, red. So you want to start with an overhand knot. We're actually going to do a square knot. So remember what direction you actually tie this in, because you're going to want to reverse it. Um, so tie that in. Make sure when you do it that you're uh, tying it in in between each of the fibers. So you tied in five fibers here, and uh, you want to tie in right um, in between each, so you have four total legs. So if you do two over perfect overhand knots, what's going to end up happening is the this is going to be sitting parallel to the hook, and you don't want that. You want this to sit um, to sit going out this way, just like legs would. So um, make sure that you actually tie it in going the opposite way, like a good square knot would be. Okay, as you can see, that's sitting um, perpendicular. Okay, so you do that with the one, and you want to keep on going down the row. All right, so now we've got all those tied in. Next step, we're going to want to take a red Sharpie, and let me turn this so you can see it. Pull these fibers out, mark up the the legs. Where we want to start this is right past where the fibers are. And then I like doing one extra step, and that's just a quick little, almost like a segmented leg line there. Not necessary, but I think it adds to the fly. I'm going to take all these. Try not to pull them too tight, because then they'll stretch. But try to keep them all about the same length, and we can just go ahead and cut them. Off, all at the same length there. And then you want to adjust before the next step. So make sure that these are all in the position that you want them to be in. Next step, we want to take some hard as whole head cement here, or, you know, super glue, uh, whatever you got, just something to coat this. Really give a nice thick amount. Um, basically, that's going to keep all the fibers in and also keep your, uh, your legs at the same spot that you set them in, so it'll keep them from moving around. All right, and then we've got a little trim up to do in case you've got some hairs tied in, um, which I did, unfortunately, to your uh, legs here. Okay. But there you go. That is the Merkin Crab. You're basically all done here. Uh, There's a great, great um, fly for for uh, flats fishing, um, for like permit and uh, and bonefish and redfish, uh, they all eat this. Um, great, great fly. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I've got many other videos, um, and uh, send me a link if you have a if you have a question or even a recommendation on a fly that you want seen tied. Uh, just just send me a link, and um, I'm sorry, send me a message, and I'll go ahead and. Uh, and try to tie that for you. So have a great day, go catch some fish, and I'll see you on the next video.